welcome to r slash insane parents where we only find the spiciest the tastiest and the most insane parents on the internet let's get started not sure who is going to cave first me or i told him until he stops peeing the bed at night that i wasn't going to wash his sheets day three and i'm gagging if he keeps it up, he won't have to have the dog sleeping with him either because he won't want the smell of urine. Mama, it just takes time. Maybe you should try getting him up about midway through. Yes, maybe you should try a completely different method because that is child abuse, you absolute moron. Wow. How would you feel if your mother took your backup external hard drive while you slept and combed through all your MSN chat logs from the beginning of fall 2008 and then the next night tried to do a complete system restore on your laptop again while you slept? Yeet. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd be pretty worried. That woman sounds insane. And that's obviously why she's here. Please pray for my 26 year old daughter. She jumped off a bridge last night and tried to kill herself. She's in hospital now crying emoji why the hell would this be posted on facebook if, if she just jumped like the night before surely got bigger things to be concerned about than fishing for attention on facebook oh man a text from mother sad your friends came out to say hi and not you that's okay i didn't expect you to i can tell you this one day you'll feel very sorry enjoy the taco cupcakes I'm just curious, when your friends see you treat me this way, don't they ask or wonder? And when they do, I'm curious to see what your answer is. Believe me, I'm not expecting an answer from you. I don't even think that you know to be quite honest. It's too bad. It's your loss just as much as mine. Now, my biggest question in this whole thing is, what the hell are taco cupcakes? That sounds amazing. <laughs> Sad situation though, obviously. A mum used eyeshadow to paint a kid's eyes while he's sleeping. He woke up terrified when he saw his eyes. Mummy told him that's because of his prolonged use of electronics and it'd go away if he only used it for one hour a day. Yep, that is the way to cure your child of electronics. Let's scar them for life. <sighs> what is wrong with these people that try this stuff? My strange Caribbean father, who I haven't seen in person since I was four, believes I can't know my type since I'm not dating a black guy. You don't know your culture, raised around non-God-fearing Satanists, told that you're a white girl. Obviously, your standards are not very high. I'm sorry as a white genetic mess. Well, I'm happy with my life, and he is included in that. He's the first guy I've dated that was actually my type. You don't even know your culture, Ray's. <laughs> so how do you know your type? If an ethnic girl of any type could be personally attracted to that you, what? His spelling is atrocious, bear with me here. You don't even know your culture, Rays. So how do you know your type? If an ethnic girl of any type be personally attracted to you, you have either no sense or no shame. Your do silly can't even see is inbred and a genetically messed up person. Silly lost girl. Thumb down. Of course. You can't help what you're attracted to. I think he's attractive, but that's not the point. I was raised in the USA. I don't have a culture. Attraction has nothing to do with culture, it's about the individual. You're a dumb American white girl. So sad. I'm an American girl. Do you know what that, it's really ironic that you spelled dumb, D-U-M. I don't, I feel sorry for this person that they're actually having to reply to that. I think you just cut that person out of your life. That is some warped stuff. To talk to your daughter like that, man, sick. My mother lied to me and my sister saying that my sister's dog died at the vet. The dog didn't die, she just didn't want to pay the vet bills and gave her up to rescue. She pretty much scarred my sister instead of having to tell her the truth. Drive. I'll look around and see. She passed away. What? Cow passed. She is straight tore up. I mean sobbing. I, I figured that. I am too, but I know her pain. We did everything we could. You know, someday this news is going to come out to her. Obviously, the truth, mo the majority of the time will come out and that is not going to end well that you lied about it in the first place. If she wants to be a successful influencer and reality star, then she'll have to fit the look of the time. So surgery is the obvious option. Mum wants 14 year old daughter to get plastic surgery because ugly people get nowhere. So what is she saying that her daughter is ugly? There's nothing wrong with her daughter, especially... <sighs> 
I was going to insult the man, but I'm trying to rise above it. But what kind of person thinks that way and passes it down to her daughter? Look, her daughter's a sweet, innocent girl. Let her live her teenage life without you trying to force her into plastic surgery with your... Oh, God, she's driving me mad. Look at her. Get off my screen. I'm not listening to any judgment, so keep your negative comments to yourself. I just want to share a photo because I'm finally feeling proud of myself and my boys are proud of mummy's new boob job too. Ah, uh, look at that kid on the right. He's actually licking his lips. What is wrong with this family? I'm, I'm happy you're so proud of your boobs, but, but don't get your son to put your hands on them. No, no, <laughs> just no. My mum about the abusive drug addict she's been since I was four who has a rap sheet longer than a CVS receipt, saying I'm imagining beating me when I was a kid. He also pushed my sis down the stairs, causing her oldest to be a preemie. Was it preemie? Uh, yeah. He never did anything to my kids. She was never beat like she says she was. My kids have always come first. My kids were never mistreated. I took care of my kids alone without help. Only help I got from was mum and dad babysat. She has made herself believe that she was beat, but wasn't. Ask my mum, the girl never had a mark on her. As far as this girl, she was never abused either. She is mad because he went back to his ex and he wouldn't forgive him for that. She used to take such and such and such and such to see him all the time. She asked him to be at hospital when she had this person. She gets along with her dad. I'm not saying he hasn't hit me, but he didn't hit my kids. I've always given my kids priority. I've done without for them, struggled alone to raise them, protected them and gave them what they wanted, even though I didn't have the money to do it. But I got it honestly and gave it to them. <sighs> what an absolute mess. You gotta feel sorry for the mother that she's so deluded. She even admits to being hit herself. So look, that's an open and shut case in my opinion. If he's willing to hit a mother, he's willing to do whatever else as well. Absolute shithead. My dad's reaction to me playing on my PlayStation account last night. Spoiler alert, he has no job and he doesn't pay for anything in the house. Just about this. It's about the last six months of your effing bullcrap. This was the last straw that broke the camel's back. Just like yesterday you got pissy with me about them effing lights. I paid the effing bill. You have no right to question crap. When I say shut the lights off, then just do it. I don't want your attitude. Do you want me to add a light and internet charge? I shouldn't be questioned, period. You are not an adult and not in charge. Your time will come. But until then, you don't have crap to say about anything. I have a bad feeling about your senior year. It's gonna suck if you don't get that through your head. You argue and fight, and you're going to lose everything. I'm so tired of seeing kids who get less than you, and they do way more chores than you, and they don't bitch. There are abused kids who would never think of arguing with their... Yeah, and unfortunately we didn't get the rest of that one, but... Man, who talks to their kids like that? Even if they're like a troublesome kid, the way to approach it is never to send them text messages like this, because that's really, that's really going to help the situation, isn't it? Oh, some people, man. My mum tried calling me multiple times in less than one minute, then threatened not to help me fix my AC. What's even funny is that they live with me, so they wouldn't have an AC either. What does the temp say? Oh, 81? Look outside and tell me if the AC is running. It's not, and I'll call you in a bit. What's up? Answer your phone. I'll call you in a bit, mum. I'm trying to help you fix your AC, but if you're too busy to talk, but can text, then forget it. Or you can wait when I'm done pooping. <laughs> <laughs> the best comeback ever. There's no way you can argue with that one. My mother tells me I look like a whore if I wear hoodies slash t-shirts more than once a week. I'm 16 and she's told me this since kindergarten. Many times. He gave up many times. It's not all his fault. You telling me I look like a whore with blue hair or if I wore t-shirts too. Often, it's not his fault. Okay, I never said you look like a whore. Trash, yes. <sighs> I mean, what's wrong with a hoodie or a t-shirt? What's she expecting to wear, like, roll necks for the rest of her life? I mean, come on, what the hell? Unless, uh, throw a bit of context in there. Context, my mum is constantly accusing me of manipulating her because he got tired with being someone who's crazy. Mum got a new boyfriend, and I told her I don't want to hear about a sex life or boyfriend. She said I'm uncompassionate, stuck up, and somebody she doesn't like talking to. I live with my older sister, by the way, and it took a lot of convincing because she wanted me to live with her in a trailer where my mum would be in a three by six foot cube. This is what she had to say. And let me just say, the party was the most awkward family get together ever. You know how you always say, such and such will never get what I'm trying to tell him. Well, that statement goes for you too. So I'm not gonna try anymore. 
If you talk to me ever again, you think before you speak to make sure it's not going to hurt other person's feelings and to make sure that your statements are 100% accurate. If you talk to me today at the party, you are not allowed to say anything hurtful because I will no longer tolerate it. And if you do, you better learn how to fake some remorse. Oh my god. Yeah, no one wants to hear about the mum's sex life. What kind of warp person even talks about it in front of them? Gee whiz. Yep, so we've got this a couple of laughing emojis. What's going on here kind of thing. Translation, she broke my phone, so I gave her an extremely spicy chili pepper. Absolutely hilarious that is, isn't it? Yeah, let's just try and kill my child. That's, presumably, that's extremely dangerous for a child. So, yeah, we already knew that was child abuse, but god damn, what the hell? Mummy, I can't do this with you. You hardly talk to me or Chase. You turn your back on us. You want to stay there? Fine. I ain't mad, but when you act like we don't even matter anymore or exist, that's when I have a problem. You don't come visit. I'm not going to fight you anymore. You don't want me around, so I'll leave you alone. I'm not going to court Monday. You win. And again, this is one that deserves a bit of context. Context, this argument started by me telling her when I lived with her and her abusive boyfriend I was suicidal. She got pissed and started insulting me, saying that I was ungrateful and such. And this was all on FaceTime. After that, she hung up and sent me this. Still not sure how I win when I had no choice in the matter. Legally, I couldn't even visit and she knew that. What's the court thing about? It's a custody thing. My mum gave me to my dad, then she wanted me back. I realised how much more stable the living situation here was and I didn't want to go back. She asked me why I wanted to stay here so I told her the truth and she got mad. Well, to give up your child, you know, you don't, you have little sympathy for her really, don't you? So I have four kids, six, eight, 10 and 14. One of the kids has been stealing food at one or two in the morning and me and my husband have no clue who it is and nobody has owned up to it. I decided to get a cheap recording camera and install it in the kitchen without telling my kids so I could catch one of them in the act. Husband knew. Me and my husband went to go look at the footage the next day and the kids caught us, so I let them watch it. Someone had taken food that night. While watching the video, my 14 year old daughter comes on screen. The issue was that she was in bra and panties. She became super embarrassed while watching it and went into her room and refused to leave. Her siblings and me and her dad saw her. That's why she's embarrassed. It was the eight year old who stole the food if you wondered. Yeah, you gotta feel sorry for the family, you know, you know. <laughs> You're trying to catch them in the act from stealing food from their own house. I mean. The word stealing in a family situation doesn't really work unless you're, like, you're stealing money from the purse. But this is food. This is something they need. They're obviously very hungry and have an issue. So they have to get up at early in the morning to steal it. To, wait, air quotes, steal it. <sighs> wow. This is a dad posting. Keep this in your mind when it comes up. Daddy, Lily, you're sexy. Lily, I'm not sexy. I'm brave. My brave heart is coming out. Wisdom, strength, and bravery going to hit the world. Hard with this generation coming through. Yep, and uh, that's daddy posting about his little toddler. <laughs> the hell, man? Can a nurse or doctor take home vaccinations with them? Can a nurse or doctor take home vaccinations with them? I'm asking because my son is with my husband's family right now for a family reunion, and they get all extremely pro-vax. I'm worried that something might happen to him, but I'm also trying to trust that my husband's family wouldn't do anything behind my back and go against my parenting wishes. Edit, my husband's uncle is a doctor and aunt is a nurse. If they've got any intelligence inside their head, they would do something behind your back, you daft person. To each their own, I choose not to poison my kids and that's that. What anyone else does is not my problem. Oh, and it's not that what I'm, what you like to call a anti-vaxxer, I am an informed parent. Good day now. You're still an anti-vaxxer. Million dollar idea. We need to set up a dating network so that all our unvaxxed kids can end up dating each other's unvaxxed kids when they're old enough. Lol. And then put them in a little community together so when they all get ill, they're all gone at the same time. <laughs> not a researcher. I may not articulate my words correctly because I'm angry. In 2016, I gave birth to a perfect, healthy baby boy. I researched and researched and read countless articles, books, posts, joined groups. I wanted all of the details about vaccines in order to keep my baby safe from chemicals, toxins, but selfishly, I did not want him to get autism. I did everything as perfect as possible in my pregnancy. 
He's two and a half and he's 100% vaccine free. I fought with his paediatrician for two years on my decision not to vaccinate. My son is two and a half and has just been diagnosed with autism. How? When? Why? What is life? Why is life? I did everything perfect. How did this happen to my perfect baby? P.S. I do understand that there are other ways that autism is caused. <sighs> there is nothing to say about this because I don't want to wish karma on a poor child who doesn't know nothing about it. But this person needs a slap upside the head. Baby Center. Third hand smoke puts kids health at risk, studies find. Then why don't they make cigarettes illegal? Money obviously, but I wish people would care more about serious topics. LMAO, I have five kids and we both smoke. All our kids are healthy, active children. They aren't sick, don't have breathing problems, are crawling in the ground gasping for air. Everyone has a bad habit or well, they're poisoned, so for anyone to sit on their high horse and say they are so much better because they don't smoke a cigarette is idiotic. There are a lot of harmful things that people do every day. Sure, but you're breathing smoke to your children. Of all the people, you're a parent and should care a little more about your own children. You're basically telling the world, don't care about my children, I mean. <laughs> a young woman with a history of substance abuse has lost custody of her three children, proceeds to show off a facial tattoo on Facebook. The reaction, is what you'd expect. Are those tattooed? <laughs> yep, yep, they sure are. Were you sitting at a bus stop on Powell Boulevard this morning? No, two nights ago. Oh, I thought I saw you this morning. Lol, I was leaving Powell Motel heading down the freeway. Good thing I didn't honk and wave, LMAO. I love you little cuz, but WTF are you doing to yourself? What is a form of stress relief and my face? Cause I like how it looks and makes my sex appeal go up on the scale. <laughs> WTF did you do that stupid crap for? No it doesn't. You can kiss the chance of ever getting your kids back. I'm sorry, but no judge is ever going to take you seriously if you walk into their courtroom looking like that. Miss you, making me blush. <laughs> what the F are you doing? Are you effing kidding me? You're just telling us that you're trying to make yourself better and turn your life around. I thought you were going to try and be a part of your son's life and be there for him. You just messed up. That was your last chance, last of many. You and I are done. You did this to yourself. You disgust me and you don't deserve to have Junior in your life. F you, you dumb B. F you and your punk ass husband. I'm just saying. If you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. It's just a dumb A bitch loser like his sister. Don't hate on the good people B. They're taking care of your sister's kid because she don't care. See, you have proved everyone once again that you are nothing but a gutter whore who will never change. You don't even know the F I am, and first of all, I've been the one raising your sister's kid for the past three years, the one that feeds him and bathes him and tucks him into bed every night. I'm the one who has been there for every cold and every stomachache, the one that has been there when he had his first day of school, the one that cares about him more than she could ever F and imagine. I'm the one who would do any for him. I'm his mother, so I think I have every F and right to say what I did. Second of all, we are given her nothing but chances. We even gave her the benefit of the doubt that she was really trying to turn her life around and be a part of this beautiful boy's life. But what does she do again? F it up. She does not deserve Junior and he does not need her in his life. All she's gonna do is F up that too. So I like to tell, I'm the one raising Junior, not her. And you and her can call me all the names you want. That don't change the fact that she is the one effing around. And I'm the one who gets to enjoy being part of his life and raising him, F you B. Eat phallus, Funt. <laughs> you ain't the mother one bit, just a person looking after him, B. You dumbass, do you even know what a mother is? Definitely isn't a whore who would rather spread her legs, dance on a pole and shoot up drugs and take care of her three kids and let them get taken from her. You should do all the world a favour and stop reproducing. It's low life pieces of crap like your family that's wrong with this effed up world. She's his mum and she's just an egg donor, nothing else, who is the dumb Funt. Now go F yourself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Wow, lol. I've been in Junior's life longer than she ever was, and I'm not going anywhere. And I promise you that Junior is such an intelligent young man, and so blessed to have him as my son. Since your sister can't seem to get her crap straight, I'm not here to argue or try to defend myself like I tell. You can say or do whatever you want to me, but in the end, the point is, I'm the one that's here for him, and always will be. And she is still stuck on the same old crap because her kids don't mean enough to her to just give up that lifestyle and be there for her kids. But that's all good. Your calling me names is not going to change anything or accomplish anything except you making yourself look like a fool. So please, continue to tell me how much of a B I am or a fun. Whatever, dude. I've heard it all. 
She called me a fat nasty cow once too. So say what you will, I don't give an F dude. Keep hating is all I gotta say. I'm the one that gets to raise Junior. And I effing love you. I'm happy to have you as my sister. Love you too sister. And by the way, <laughs> she is the one that wrote the comment above my phone. Alameo, thank you guys. That crap made me laugh. Wow, stupid crap. Right, so how have you been? <laughs> So, face tattoos mean she's effed up seeing her child. Never heard that one before. As long as she's sober and doing what she needs, it shouldn't matter if she's got a face tattoo or not. That's not fair to hold a child away from the one who gave birth to him just because she got a face tattoo. The F? Keep your head up, girl. When did the stars shine so bright to stay on the sun? You don't know crap, B. She's done a lot worse than a face tattoo. F off. We're raising her kid, not her. And she has done nothing to help in almost three years, so shut your mouth. You don't know what the F you're talking about. We have given her so many chances, she's been gone for three years. All she has done is lied to us and confused her son. So until you know the whole story, shut your fat F in mouth and keep your nose out of business. You know nothing about. Amen. They look great on you, hun. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> what a crazy situation. I did it. Oh, God, it's made me sweat reading that. <laughs> Absolute mad situation. All we can hope in this situation is that the kid is being looked after by someone because the whole thing just looks like a mess to me. Apparently the TV shows, sex ed curriculum, clothing, social media and pride events aren't enough to indoctrinate our kids. We now need to make their school supplies in the LGBT pride colours. Yeah, go to hell. <laughs> they do have two seater carts. What irritates me is seeing them used for one child. That means parents who actually need them can't find one because someone else in the store wasn't respectful enough to use a single seat cart for their child. This. As a mum of twins, I'm giving death stares whenever I see one kid in a multi-child cart. Wow. Please get over yourselves. <laughs> I would like advice. My daughter is a computer programmer and lives on her own. She does not respect my headship and does what she pleases. She is dating a man I disapprove of and bought a car without even consulting me. She is a liberal Christian. How do I convince her that the biblical thing to do is to be under my covering? <laughs> my advice would be, run from her as fast as you can. And that's to the daughter, not to the mother, obviously. Crazy bitch. Hey dad, I was finally able to buy myself a car. You heathen bitch. <laughs> My dad posted this about my 15 year old sister without her consent. This is so embarrassing. And the worst part is he thinks it shows respect. More photos in the comments. I got a consent to post this. This is for the boy that keeps asking my 15 year old daughter to meet him at the park at 9 p.m. at night. Let's be very clear. I work with heavy equipment and dig very, very big deep holes for a living. This is exactly like those situations you see those t-shirts wearing. I've got a big gun cabinet and I'm going to shoot whoever gets in my daughter's way kind of thing. Oh god, you see them on Facebook all the time. It makes me sick. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Insane Parents. I had a lot of fun making it. So let me know. As I say always, if you do like something, put it down in the comments below because I would love to know your thoughts. Your thoughts are what keep me going in this. Truly, I don't... If, if you guys weren't commenting, I wouldn't even bother posting this no more. It'd be pointless. I mean, I'm demonetized most of the time, so it doesn't really matter to me. I just enjoy your comments, your feedback and stuff, and I love that. I feed off that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Much love.